My name is Okuyo Joel Atiku Prince. I am, right now I could say I'm a filmmaker, but majorly I'm an actor. I don't know if there was such thing as an inspiration for me to join the film industry, but I know that somehow it's been in there. It's been in there. Because when it comes to acting, I first did my very first role at a very tender age. I was just six when I first featured in a play. And uh, I did my major, my first major role when I was 11, which won me an award. So for me, Coming into film was just basically uh, transiting from one platform to another or one medium to another, but the inherent ability to do it and the urge to do it has always been there. But uh, if there is such an answer to your question, I would say it's just the love for film. Some of the remarkable projects that I've acted in include uh, Battle of the Souls, State Research Bureau, Lost in Africa, Raised Wild, Kidnapped Abroad. The commercials include uh, Now Special for Uganda, Safari Lager for Tanzania, Stone Lager for Ghana. The music videos would include Chibulamu, Ready to Leave, um, Boo. I think those are some of the remarkable projects that I've appeared in and uh, I'm really proud that I did them. I would like to use this opportunity to tell you about my dad. Daddy is the strongest man in Uganda. He is a provider and a loving man. For me, the biggest challenge I see is we need to work on the distribution. Distribution is key because you find many African films will not make it to Netflix. And even when Netflix distributes it, how much of it do you get back? So we need to work on our individual distribution. Uh, and I think Tanzania has done that very nicely. Their distribution is like on point. And uh, they have cut out the piracy. I don't know how they managed to do it. They just distribute it within Tanzania, but everybody gets paid handsomely. My achievements in this industry is, uh, for me, the most important is to become uh, what I would call a global citizen, like I have, I've, I've broken barriers. I've, 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 I've gone into different cultures and made friends. I never knew that one day I would be hired to go to Israel to shoot. That's a corner of the world I never knew, you know. I never knew that I would be going to French-speaking countries to shoot. So for me, that, that, you know, like sharing, taking my culture to the other cultures and also tapping into their cultures to build myself and bring back home what I've learned also to help other people around me to better themselves is a great achievement. And then also being recognized all over the world, you know, like uh, in terms of our words, uh, you know, in terms of just personal personality, it's, it's, it's a big achievement for me. Reducing foreign content on our TV is, is a debate that has been around for a while. What I would personally think is uh, the local content producers have to come together and prove to the local broadcasters that they have enough content. We need to form unions, working unions where people are not fighting for power. We have to form those and then go to the broadcasters. And also, when we have unions, we shall have more power to convince the government to make stringent laws. Young lady, I'm sorry. Mr. Manager. The Ugandan film industry, if we stopped being selfish, if we started understanding that film is a chain work, that it's a link, you know, film is a collective work. And stop sabotaging, but helping people get better at what they do. Trust me, this industry is going to flourish.
My advice to the young creatives out there in the world is uh, creativity is not a part-time job. Creativity is not for the weak-hearted. Creativity is not a trial. Creativity is a lifetime commitment. And if you're weak, you want to try something, you want to test the waters, don't try creativity.